Well, the Department of Justice released its assessment of how the city of Minneapolis responded to the occupation of the 4th Precinct. Demonstrators protested outside the building after the officer-involved shooting of Jamar Clark back in November of 2015. WCCO's Reg Chapman was at a press conference where city leaders addressed the findings, and Reg joins us now with more. Hi, Reg. Hi, Amelia. That review was requested by the mayor and police chief to determine what was done well during the occupation and what could have been done better. The DOJ released 36 findings and 71 recommendations for the city and police department to learn from. The occupation itself was also one of the most searing events in recent memory in Minneapolis. For 18 days, people from all walks of life demonstrated outside Minneapolis's 4th Precinct building, protesting the police shooting death of Jamar Clark. Throughout the occupation, our top goal as a city was to keep all the people of Minneapolis safe. Demonstrators, officers, neighbors, residents, Everyone. When the occupation was ended, Mayor Hodges and Chief Harto asked the DOJ to conduct an after action report. Hodges says, as a people and as a city, we came through this incident well. The commitment of the city, the police department, and individual officers to a peaceful, measured response played a large role in keeping the occupation from escalating into violent riots. The review found room for improvement from top city officials to those tasked to put their orders into action. It said the response to the occupation was not rigorously structured and not coordinated amongst elected officials and law enforcement. Don't just say the 18-day occupation. Jamar Clark should be with us. That matters to us. Minneapolis NAACP President Dr. Jason Soule says if Clark wasn't killed, there would have been no protest. He says the review doesn't touch on the real problem with police community relations. It's the culture of it happening and no accountability. Right. We're dying out here being kicked, being mistreated every which way, and there's no accountability. They keep the badge and the gun. Now, Mayor Hodges says she hopes people take time to digest the 90-page review. She plans to sit with members of the community to hear what they think the city can do better. NAACP executive members say they don't want to see recommendations on paper. They want the city to do the right thing by all its citizens, Amelia. All right. Thank you, Reg.